Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> anyways, anyways, today we have none other than the pit bull, Mr. Ariel. Um, I don't know what to go. With, do, what, what's MVP the... right here, baby? MVP. Of that. <laughs> All right, I'm a. Baby. I'm gonna cut that out. Okay. <clears throat> that shit, baby. All right, go. then we got Mr. Four yeah, Times, shit, Four Times know, himself. No, not you. Shut up. <laughs> you already, I already introduced you. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to, yeah. Let me mute this one real quick. Hold on, guys. It's <laughs> Four time champ. Here you the shades on. Baby. Well, hey, we got we got eight champ. No, eight. I'm, my math is all wrong. Twelve champs. No, it's not. It's not that. Doesn't make sense. All right. Anyways, we got Mr. Four time champion himself, King Venom, in the call. Um, what to do, baby? So today we're just gonna kind of talk about. <laughs> Bless you, bless you, bro. Bless you. Oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so today, uh, we're, we're we just want to talk about basically what's been going on for the past. Um, I'd say like two months, right? Since we've yeah, just um, about. I mean, since since the last season, since the season two fight, it's been about two months, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 That's crazy, bad, yeah. dude. It went, <laughs> it went, <laughs> dude. It went by quick. Don't you guys think? Dude, it's been like insanely fast. Uh, yeah, it's like now that I look back, I'm like, damn, dude, like all that whole moment, and everything just went by so quick. Like winning freaking season two finals and all that. It's just, psh. I mean, I don't remember anything <laughs> besides when it feels like I just won yesterday, baby. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> anyway, Chance. so, <laughs> so MVP, <laughs> right, dude, this is gonna be shouting that out the whole freaking time, dude. I said. <laughs> anyways so um after that we pretty much were on holidays because that's literally right after that was um thanksgiving right and then we had yeah, um we had thanksgiving christmas and then new year's christmas hanukkah whatever you guys celebrate um and then new year's so <clears throat> anyways let's start with the holidays how'd you guys um how'd you guys spend your holidays after winning season two what'd you guys what'd you guys do uh thanksgiving i went uh Ate some food with the family for the first time in a few years. Ding. Yeah, man. I'm not a family person, but it was nice. The food was great. Turkey and turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes. All that good stuff. Beer. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to... <laughs> no, that was before. That was before. No, that was before. See, I'm, uh, I've been sober. Before the, before the New Year's resolution. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. That's cool. That's cool. What about you, Ariel? What have you... Um, What did you do over the holidays? Nothing? All right, cool. <laughs> I just kidding. Damn, <laughs> I just <laughs> Yeah. All yeah, right. Just um, just kissing trophies and just. You know, oh my gosh, dude! Uh, shut the hell up. You don't you don't have any trophies out there, bro? What are you talking I went, about? I went. <laughs> the only one that has I the trophies. The, I went to the Bahamas and enjoyed life. You know. Yeah, this <laughs> was straight up lying, bro. Dude, enjoy, enjoy, yeah, bro. Enjoy my MVP. You know. Dude, it was, a, it was a nice, it was a nice battle, and it was it was a hard fought battle, and it, I enjoyed it, and you know I was just glorifying the moment, you know, it was just I'm glad that. Well, Mr. MVP, um, you welcome, Ross came you, bro. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, for myself, uh, holidays I just went up north, spent some time with Emily and her family. A uh, bunch of food, dude. Too much food. It was crazy. Like, there was food every day, every time of the day. Like, any time of the day, I was hungry. It was just like, there's always food. So, that was freaking, that was dope. I thought we were trying to lose weight, bro. <clears throat> I do, I do. No, no, no. It was a New Year's resolution, bro. That's what it was. Oh, yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't do it Thanksgiving. Back to the lands, bro. I'm, uh -huh. I'm gonna be a little bit lighter. I'm not gonna be as chunky no more. Just a little bit. Don't sleep on me, baby. Don't sleep on me. <laughs> all right, all right. Like, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna I'm be not. I'm not gonna be a pit bull no more. I'm gonna be a little chihuahua. Little <laughs> chihuahua. <laughs> gonna be one of those freaking running. Oh, those running. Baby. Uh, that, a freaking sphinx. <laughs> a sphinx, yeah. Dude, nah, that'd be crazy. Nah, but yeah, holidays were good though. Weight I think. <clears throat> During weight watchers. <laughs> He's gonna be wild this whole time. Yeah, bro, for sure, dude. Arrow's a different breed now, man. It's 2020, dude. Like my my whole team's changed up on me, guys. I don't know what's what's going on with them. Yo, tell, tell me Hollywood, tell bro. They've... We got three in here. <clears throat> Hollywood, Hollywood Ariel. Oh, they got what? Hollywood Ariel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. MVP. 
Alright, 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 dude. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so season two finals, guys. Um, overall, what did what did you guys think about it? Like, as far as you know, the experience of going to that country, um, playing in the, you know, that that pro series, which we don't want to talk about too much, but you know, we'll 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 touch on it. <laughs> we'll touch on it. <laughs> And <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Yo, I, yeah, I popped off in, in the European in the European one. I, mean, I did so well. And I don't think, dude. I don't think any any none of us I, popped off, I, bro. I my, unfortunately, my team wasn't able to help me out because I was just going off. And bro, yeah, er but it's all right though because my team showed up in the finals though, so I'm happy about that, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Anyways, all right, all right I, 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 I guess, all right, let's talk about that Pro Series real quick. What the heck ah, happened, yeah, bro? Doing, what what the heck happened, bro? What happened to you guys? I don't know. I think, <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think Rob was just a little hungover from the night before. Yeah, so I don't right, think he was able to bro. perform as well. Could be true, could be true. Gem was just, was just jet lag, you know? We were up to yeah. 0. Yeah. We were up to, no, we were up to 1, I think, weren't we? Or No, we were up 2-0. We were up 2-0? So yeah. we got reverse swept on that one? Yeah, we got reverse. Oh, swept I didn't even one. know that, dude. Dang, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, every every team bad. they played against got reverse swept. Yeah, literally. Enix, literally. Enix they, they actually that, had too. the lead against Enix. Enix was about to reverse sweep them, but. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. That was a. I mean, uh, props to them, dude. That was just a. It was just a weird team to play against. I remember that. They're just like nobody knew how they played really. Um, we scrimmed against them a couple times, but at the end of the day, like it was just you. You didn't know what they were gonna come out with. And I think that's what yeah, threw yeah, us yeah, off, and maybe yeah. we got some, some of their players showed out too. They did a great job that day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They got some pretty um crazy plays from what's his name um Fudge Blaze. um Blaze oh, Jiren. Blaze, Blaze and Jiren and Jiren Blaze and Jiren popped off. Even, even Alex, excellent, they excellent that team, bro. Yeah. They no, they did well. I, they I did think, very well. Uh, I think Lord Mano and Excellency had like did a great job just incorporating them into the team. You know, so. Yeah, basically, um, good job to them. They did. They did very off. well. I mean, we, it just threw us off. I mean, but uh, I, again, like I like telling you guys, like it was mainly my fault. Like I just didn't do too well, so that was just on me. Their area was all depressed after that loss. <laughs> yeah, I went. Yeah, I went into my room, y'all. I put on some Drake. I started like crying in the shower, bro. It was so bad, bro. <laughs> Like I was just, you know, red. I just lost right there, yo. Like, but nah, it's all good, you know. You, you gotta lose some. You gotta yeah, lose some. yeah. You gotta we gotta get humbled down a little bit, maybe. Humble, you gotta get humbled, you know. It all worked out though. I mean, it all happens for a reason, right? It just like. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. It get, happened for yeah, cause it, it, exactly, cause then I got the MVP afterwards. So I had that bad, <laughs> and I came back, went off, got the MVP, and then I got, I was able to bring the trophy home, you know. Was, Bro, you know, I deserved it. If I could slap you across the screen, dude, I would. Man. Yeah, bro. If I can just freaking nunchuck. Nah, you guys wouldn't do that. Nah, nah. Shit out, dude. No joke. <laughs> I'm too chunky. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even feel that shit. Bro. <laughs> what happened to slimming down? What happened to Weight Watchers, dog? Okay, but that started like. <laughs> all, right, all right, we're gonna start now, man. We're gonna start now, then, man. Weight Watchers now. I, I, I'm gonna do the application thing, but. Weight Watchers now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. To answer the previous question, though, man, I think Guns of Boom did a great job with the event itself man like the game certainly run a lot smoother than they did uh back in cologne yeah yeah and the venue was sick dude like we were able to explore some new things and like uh try out this new game inside game that we got all hyped up about for no like, reason but it was fun like, to play it was all right it was all right yeah what the venue was, was again? sick though i liked the venue a lot and yeah so fans over there bro they they enjoyed it for sure so the venue he's um talking about is from the the finals actually that's what the ones um he's talking about that was the, the big one at, at hypertown right what's the place i think hypertown yeah or, or hypertown. yeah hypertown and then they had like a whole like a type like a con type of thing where they had people showing off like different i don't know what the heck they were I, honestly i wasn't really too too familiar with what was going on there but it was cool it was cool no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. The game that we were playing for um their game inside their new one uh, Tanks of Boom, right? Yeah, my my brothers from Brazil finally got a win. It's all that matters, uh, baby. <laughs> That's true. Uh, anyway, <laughs> dude, it was kind of weird, dude. Honestly, like how they um we had to play that before our, our big tournament, and it was literally cutting into our practice time. That was kind of whack. That's yeah, for sure. that was definitely. I mean, we couldn't even practice anything with the Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's one of the main things, right? Was the 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 
practice in that venue, the we did, there was really was nothing, dude. Oh, yeah, we didn't. We didn't well, we you, didn't and that's usually how. I mean, that's how it was in in Cologne as well. Yeah, um, usually like in the venue, like in the big like stadium venues. Like, I think Brazil really was the best practice we we got. Oh you know, yeah, Dallas for sure. Dallas was amazing. Oh, I think Dallas. No, went, Bra- I like I like Brazil just because it was Dallas. Fun. Dallas, we had our own Wi-Fi and every team had their own rooms and. Everything. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. But Brazil was nice too, though. It was like more Brazil's was more like comfort, comfortable. You get me? It was like everyone was together. Everyone was like socializing. Everyone was uh, just chilling. You know, I liked the venue in Brazil. It was nice. More like a pub slash bar type venue. It was cool. Exactly. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that that was cool. Yeah, it was it was all pretty dope. I mean, the season two finals was for sure. I think one of the most climactic ones for us, just because of like how freaking close it was and you know like the uh, even though it was only what two games right we played against two teams but yeah still do no, that we played two games and then two, Wait, two teams. yeah we played two teams in that finals finals oh, yeah yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah yeah that one was i don't know that was intense dude for sure i think that finals probably like it, remember we're, we're talking about it we're saying like dude that that round was a that last map was a fifty thousand dollar map yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy. Okay, yeah. 20 that points went difference, and then, and then, insane finish. Yeah. Yo, they were and up that, in the middle of the game when it was like 800 to like 630, bro. Yeah, and dude. We came back. Gentich were talking that about after insane. after it happened. We were like, man, that, like, that could have been anyone's at that point. That was like, that like literally, we could have been in the opposite. Like, one, one, one bad move, that could have that could have been us on the opposite side, you know? So, yeah. yeah. But, you know, I guess, we really, I don't know. Yeah, we really put it we, all. We grinded we, we that last one out. Yeah, that was that, yeah. those last two pushes. Bro. Clutched up, baby. Yeah, we clutched, clutched up. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, know, but they came <clears throat> yeah, they came back hard, though. Yeah, we were up 2-0, right? I think. We were up 2, and the, the, the next map was Saloon. And Chuck, that, that one, really, right? No, no, I think it was Farm. Farm was the next one, which no, ideally Saloon, should have been ours as well. Saloon, oh, yeah. we lost in yeah. Farm. It was Farm, it was Farm then Saloon, and we lost Farm, which is actually our map. And they actually, Jay came in, like, really hard. Yeah, out of that. Jay did a great job there. The Jay game. did an amazing job. And then that second in Saloon, Thanos popped off on us. Yeah. And, uh, that shit, yeah, it was rough, man. But, no, they came, they, they were fighting hard. They, want, they wanted that, what? that map. <clears throat> what they did wanted you... that, that <clears throat> game hard. What did you guys think about like the whole uh, switch between um, what's it called Divine King and uh, Optimus? You think that was a good move? I mean, oh, it's 100%, a good, yeah. yeah, it was a good move because they were able to speak Spanish together and uh, yeah, yeah, You're communicate a lot better. Yeah, and I think yeah, and then Tom, and then they still had really a good still. at strategizing. Yeah, so that was perfect yeah. for them because those those Enix guys were like little little puppies that just need a trainer. Um, <laughs> Tom came in clutch with the whips, and the, I mean not the whips, with the leashes. And uh, Tom, Tom had a lot of great strategies. You could yeah, even yeah. see him. You should have seen him when we were watching the game, bro. He's like, "Yeah, yeah. that's my strategy." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Against yeah. uh, against back to back on uh, military, he ran two yeah. down mid, and then and then uh, two to the left. Yeah, right in the start, went, and they went up like yeah, yeah, seven yeah, yeah. Zero or something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. and they yeah. wiped them right right yeah, off the beginning. Wiped them right away. Yeah. That was because yo back to back always does the same routes on on that map. So as long as you can study their routes, uh, you can you can throw them off guard for sure. No, yeah. but Tom's really smart with those uh, with those strategies and and adding um, Divine King, it just gave him a really strong sniper because. The other three were really good rushers. Yeah. And, and all they needed was a really <clears throat> good sniper, and then they got it. So that's why they're they're a strong team, and they can easily contend for that first spot. You know? Yeah, so, yeah, dude. Props Man. to them. Those, those guys are those guys are like they're putting us in that position where we have to improve and never slow down because they they always keep us on our toes. Yeah, dude. Super, super, super intense, dude. They're a very good, good yeah. squad. Um. It's nice to have the second best team in the world be from America too, so that way when we do practice, we don't have any lag issues. We don't have any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Those, are, those are our brothers as well, man. Like, they're that's family right there too. Right? Yeah. And it's, it's good to see them, you know, popping off and going up there, you know. And I, and I and I've told them before, like if I'm gonna lose to anyone, I would I would love to lose Jack. Yeah. Um, 
No, they, sure. they they work hard for it, and I think out of any other team, they work the hardest for it. So yeah, definitely did do that. I'll probably say them, man. Enix, we we love those guys. They're like family to us. We always hang out in events. Every event that we've been with them, like that they participate in as well, we always um hung out like brothers. And you know, shout outs to them and everybody in that squad. So um, <clears throat> with that said, I mean, season two finals, dude. How much was the price pool again for that that last one? The last two finals was in two hundred. No, no, one fifty, right? One fifty. No. I believe it was one twenty. One seventy five. One seventy five. No, I didn't know. One eighty. It was a crazy oh, amount. No, it was a hundred. It was hundred for first place. Then 50, fifty, and then it was fifteen and fifteen. So that's one seventy five. One seventy five. Okay. Damn, yeah, dude. Yeah. So. We ended up going home no, with that's not 180, 180, 180, 180. 180. Yeah. We up going home with one hundred thousand dollars, dude. That's quite a what lot of do, money, dude. Baby. I mean, you yeah. split it with against with four. That's still a lot of money for just one person, you know. Like just it's crazy. for one event, dude. That's one event. Five thousand dollars each. Yeah, that's uh, for one event. That's in, that's a crazy amount, dude. Honestly, like, who would you guys ever in your life thought you guys would make that much money off a mobile game? No, nah, dude. <laughs> I, at least for my, I, at least dude. For when I started man, playing like... this game, bro, it was it was just for to pass time during lunch when I was working or something. You yeah, know? yeah. But then, yeah. then we dominate. That's crazy, right? Years later. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I, I just it. I just played it a well robbed ass. Honestly, which <laughs> never <laughs> happened. <laughs> which I always did actually. But, which uh, never but then, happened. And then I felt bad. Hey, for Ar- Ar- Ariel told me a story, bad, right? Cool. Ariel first time saw me in a reg match. All right, he was like, "Oh, I heard about this guy." He's like, oh shit, oh shit, he dropped like two kills against me, bro. Wiped his ass. <laughs> yeah. When he was back in his <clears throat> iPhone, what? The iPhone 5? I don't even want to hear The SE? Like, the iPhone, iPhone I don't even want to hear that's, that's the only reason so, why. Nah, that's the only reason yeah, he lost. Reason the only re- yeah, I had a I Mamba. Beat, I, I had a Mamba and iPhone. a Trader, baby. I had a Mamba I had an and a Trader, SE. dog. And you had, a, you had an iPhone iPhone Max, whatever that was. Yeah, I didn't Max. have a Max at that time. I didn't have a Max. <laughs> the eleven, the eleven Max, whatever. You I had didn't that. have yeah. the eleven Max. Uh, yeah. You had the, you had the <laughs> iPhone twelve, bro. Stop Yo, lying. Yeah, the <laughs> iPad Pro, bro. He had the iPad Yo, Pro. Three, three years ago, bro, yeah, that shit was not even out yet, so I don't want to hear yeah. it, bro. Lies, bro. You had the iPhone thirteen, bro. Max oh, Pro, God. Max Pro. But yeah. 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 Anyway, no, I, mean, I, I honestly never, never thought that I would genuinely make the. I mean, I thought I'd, I'd be making a little bit because in the beginning we were just doing the little small egl ones yeah 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 remember that started with egl right yeah 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 and and i thought it was just gonna be a little like something i could get weekly you know yeah like a little side money yeah a little little, like 25 bucks you know 50 bucks a week yeah that's 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 not bad at all dude (laughs) yeah yeah just for you know just just to have some a little bit of cash a little bit of extra yeah, cash man. just to use on, on any yeah you could on, probably you, or whatever. Yeah, yeah you could probably use it but, for the stuff in guns of boom get yourself a couple of grenades yeah. you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but then like i guess after la i mean la we did, we did yeah we did we did hyped up and then we went to la we got beat up yeah and, and then you got murked and they got murked that, why do you say they you guys were the first ones out no, I'm saying yeah. NA got murked. Oh, I, I was like, got, I thought yeah. NA. Said, we got bro. murked. I was like, no, I said bro. NA got murked, dude. Yeah. Said, besides um, Enix, Enix did very well. I remember that. Uh, yeah. Oh, not Enix. They were, what were they called back then? Um, uh, Yakuza. Force. Yakuza. Yeah, Yakuza. No, no, no. no. Was it, oh, no. They're Yakuza. They're a force after. Yeah, they're a force after. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, was, it was 2018, right? 2018 november november, november dude that's two years ago what the fuck dude that's yeah dude that's when we all met basically though that's um yeah, yeah. yeah that's when we, we all met that's where the the t- you know after the whole talk happened and yeah everything. after that event and what went down that's it disappointments that's when, that's when the that's when the warriors were made you know we that's... recruited kevin durant and we were just chilling yeah dude the warriors right from <laughs> Not the Warriors from this season, no, 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 not this one. No, 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 let me see. Uh, I'll go back to what I was. I was. I was talking about the the freaking the amount of money that that was put on for that season two finals was a lot. Twenty five k each. Uh, we won twenty five k each. Um, have have you guys bought anything nice? Anything nice for yourselves? Any celebratory, you know, stuff or 
Mm, um, um, I yeah, haven't honestly, with that money. No. Um, yeah, same here. I, I actually, I've, I've just gifted my family like for Christmas. I'm, I yeah. never really yeah, had a lot of money I, to gift people, so I bro, just went this, off and this Christmas, something. yo, freaking. I was just Santa Claus this Christmas. Santa Claus? I didn't dress up on it. I was like, <laughs> you should have dressed up, bro. Like, okay. I was like, what you want? What you want? What you want? Buy everything. I was like, yeah. I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's I dope. think uh, this next one, though, I'm just going to combine both of them. Maybe put it in some real estate, go on a vacation. Yeah. Just trying to collect all the money. You know, I got to get some supplies for my business. But yeah, other yeah. than that. All right. It's all good. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I mean, same here. I just like you know, Christmas uh, splurged out a little bit with the fam. Um, well, not only that, bro. What's up? How much uh, money you been spending on Emily these days? What you mean, uh, dog? What do you mean? Chill, like, dude. Got her some AirPods. I got her AirPods. new iPhone. Got her. Nah, not phone, man. I, I heard. I heard you. I heard you got her some new Mobile Legend tapes. Yeah, too. I heard. I heard you. Oh, I gifted Thank her you, some bro. skins, bro. I gifted her some skins <laughs> and Mobile Legends. Yeah. The good ones too, bro. The expensive ones. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, there you go. Serious, yeah, you're, bro. Good, you're a good boyfriend, bro. But uh, things are getting serious. All right, so moving on from that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that season two finals. That's what happened after that. We went on uh, vacation, basically holidays. You know, everyone was just pretty much um just chilling. You know, uh, for the most part. I think we we're, we weren't really playing at all. Really, any nobody, no teams were really playing that much. Um. So no, we were just enjoying yeah, our nah, break. Yeah, they, they yeah. were. They were not. Nah, there were some teams playing. A lot were they? Oh wait, uh, the you. EU oh, the EU, right? Yeah, and that that new team they formed too. Yeah, and there was some the team. team they were trying to form, the like, super they were team of what was it? Uh, back to back, right? Think about. What you think about the new EU team um, popping out, out of the team, man? What's, what's your, what's your, it's it's what's too early to tell, man. They're, they're all good players, not, but yeah, it, know, it's off, like off the top of my head, it could work out, but it just depends if it, online, if they do qualifiers again through online, it's going to kind of suck. But we'll see, man. It, you never know, dude. dude. The guns of boom is so different now that you just don't know what can happen, dude. Who knows, dude? There might be some new super team that comes out of nowhere. Um, you could be, yeah. be surprised, but... um. Talk about Guns of Boom nowadays. Um, recently, we just had a pretty big update, I would say, and it kind of came out of nowhere, right? It, I mean, it literally, I don't think anybody knew about this update coming, and it changed the way. Um, not really. I don't know if it's like how the game is played, but I don't know. What do you guys? What do you say? What do you guys think about this update? Um, with the two guns. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. what do you think about the 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 loadouts um, being limited to specialization. yeah specialization? Yeah, in, yeah the the perks, perks basically, which is yeah. perks, yeah, and then being limited on using only like one gun and one loadout. You know, you can't use like the Odin, let's say, and three loadouts because it's I don't know why, but honestly, I think I think it's it got easier just because mm -hmm. in the beginning I was really skeptical about it, like. Everybody was complaining like they couldn't use Scout anymore, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I think it got a little more easier because it's testing everyone's skill level. And a lot of those people that needed, like, the Scout to move around fast and do all these crazy stuff with it or never really used their AR, now they have to use it. It's teaching them how to, like, learn with that stuff. But yeah. at the same time, they're really bad at it. So it kind of benefits us. So maybe you can be surprised. But, um... Talk about Guns of Boom nowadays. Um, recently, we just had a pretty big update, I would say, and it kind of came out of nowhere, right? It, I mean, it literally, I don't think anybody knew about this update coming, and it changed the way. Um, not really. I don't know if it's like how the game is played, but I don't know. What do you guys? What do you say? What do you guys think about this update? Um, with the two guns. Yeah, I mean, like, what do you think about the 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 loadouts um, being limited to yeah specialization? In, yeah, the the perks basically, which is perks. Yeah, and then being limited on using only like one gun and one loadout. You know, you can't use like the Odin, let's say, and three loadouts because it's I don't know why. But honestly, I think I think it's it got easier just because in the beginning I was really skeptical about it, like. Everybody was complaining like they couldn't use Scout anymore, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I think it got a little more easier because it's testing everyone's skill level. 
And a lot of those people that needed like the scout to move around fast and do all these crazy stuff with it or never really used their AR and now they have to use it. It's teaching them how to like learn with that stuff, but yeah. at the same time, they're really bad at it, so it kind of benefits us. So, um, I mean, I don't mind it. I actually, you know, I've been playing it a little bit more. Um, I, I, I mean, to me, I've only, I've never <clears throat> shied away from change. Um, I mean, yeah. if it's not like the best change, I think in a way it, it uh, encourages me to play, at least for myself again, it encourages me to play because it's something different. Um, I do personally think they they kind of lost their identity in a way. Uh, yeah. I think Guns yeah. and Boom was big on the four weapons, weapon switches. I think weapon switches was the pro aspect of the game, you know? How fast can you switch your weapon, you know? Um, and when, and just having those weapon switches on point. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I don't think that... Um, I mean, I, I like... But what I like most is that the devs seem very um like invested in it and or like yes invested in the game because it yeah. seems like they're changing it they're always coming up with new updates and they're always doing these things and they're always um putting in that effort <clears throat> um because because the way i see it is the way they change this who knows maybe they'll change it again and it'll be completely different maybe they bring back four guns you never know i mean it's it's always a possibility in the same way they, they took it away the same way they could put it back um but you know i think what they should have done was added the perks, added all of that. Yeah. Um, and then just kept the four weapons or just got rid of the machine guns. I don't know why they have machine guns. No one uses Yeah, that, that support that's class is like not yeah. a, nobody use, no one, nobody's gonna use that. Especially uh, especially in the pro scene. Unless they make it easier to run with machine guns or they make it easier to aim with machine guns, or if they give machine guns a scope to scope in with, something yeah. like that. I don't know. Like some guns like I, I think the, I wish the life stealer had a scope. That'd be sick. I wish it. like I wish the Mamba had a scope, you know, I wish all the things <laughs> had scopes and, you know, I, those are little things that I, I wish they added to the game. I don't know why guns don't have scopes. Um, yeah, I think it's, I, I, I think instead of like adding those perks and stuff, they should have added like attachments, dude. That would have been cool. Oh, huh? oh, that would be nice. Yeah, 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 for sure. That would be, that would have been cool. Because sure. if you think about it, there's already perks with the helmets. There's already perks with yeah. the pants. The but weapons like the, have perks. Like the, yeah, but I like the class part, the classes part. Cause class is like, cool, yeah. This way. Think of it this way like imagine going into a pro into a pro game right yeah and and then you're going in four rushers at the beginning and all mm -hmm. of a sudden you swap to four snipers like, yeah that'd be cool as hell you know yep. just randomly like i feel like that's a lot of strategy to it like oh yeah oh you're gonna be switching at this time at this time like i think that, that that's awesome you know and, and i think that the the if they would have done that i think that would have been that would have been like the ultimate way of like seeing who's pro because there's always pros but they're only pro as a rusher they're not pro as a sniper yeah but, you know let's say people like you or rock king like they're pro they're pro sniper uh -huh. and rushers you know like it's it, that's the real those are like that would have been cool to see like who can who can master all of that yeah but yeah i mean um so, as for, i mean the update like i said it's just it's a it's a weird update um it's kind of changed a lot but at the same time it's still guns of boom you know it's it's still yeah, yeah. um it's still same mechanics it's still it's actually a little bit easier nowadays i think i feel like um yeah. how how are how do you guys um what do you guys think about the teams like how their reaction to it um as far as other pro teams because um you know yo, how... a lot of those people are complaining and yo, i'm not even gonna lie but, uh, <laughs> i think the only reason why they're complaining like ariel was saying is because they're only so used to developing one set of skills that they don't want to try something new and be a good alternative sniper or assault player or shotgun player like they yeah. just want to yeah. run around the map really fast, but yeah, which is that, understandable that though. Of, I mean, if you if you think about it, I mean, a lot of people. About it. Back, back in LA, yeah. dude, what was it? it? Was the hard hat? And uh, yeah, hard hat the avalanche. Player, right? So we could, yeah. So it was the hard hat and the avalanche back in LA, where it was just OP. Yeah. And then back in Germany, or the finals, it was literally scout and the new knife button that's always on i guess yeah 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 there's yeah, always gonna be new no. new exactly for sure yeah i mean a yeah. lot like i said a lot of the teams were upset right i mean you... yeah 
a lot, a lot of the teams. That's, I mean, a lot of people. Yeah. And, as, far you know, the pro, as far as the pro, as far as far as the pro scene, like as far as the pro scene, yeah. Every 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 yeah. team was upset for sure. I mean, I think I know, even I know the Brazilian guys were talking about quitting and everything. Yeah, that's too. crazy, I dude. I know why it, they, I know they're dominating that region, and even though. Yeah, that's an so easy that's, ticket, man. <laughs> yeah, I said the Europeans. Yeah, Europeans, everyone, dude. The Indians. When, um, when, when that new back to back team formed, like a week prior to the update, they're like, "Oh yeah, this is gonna be great." Blah blah blah. And right yeah. when that update hit, oh, I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to. Yeah, I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen them ever since. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It tests it tests people's skill and it tests people like patience. Like you got to learn and adapt. Like that's the whole point of a whole new update you know yeah yeah so the pro the pro the pro scenes like it, it, i i guess our maybe our team's a little less like upset about it just because we're we're used to change we we can dude, adapt like we're we used play, to adapt we play different games dude like yeah, yeah it's it, it has the same concepts as call of duty but it's still different like yeah it might it might have some certain things that look the same or are the same but it's Honestly though, one that we're used to and all, and one all. thing though that that I I really um do not like about this update is the fact that I mean you, there's four classes but you don't even have enough stuff to fill that up right now like That's you, the thing. you I wish they would have yeah. waited for that yeah because we yeah, can't even unlock more, the stuff dude just, dude I just wish they made a lot of these weapons more accessible to the Ex public yeah yeah, yeah. Dude, why why should you have to wait for them to release these guns for you to be able to get them why can't you I mean. The way I think of it is like, why can't you just grind and get these weapons, or level up to get these weapons? Yep. Or something? Yeah, make it more easy to get. Like, I mean, uh, they did do the battle pass stuff, but then after they kind yeah, of yeah. like, um, they kind of changed it. But still, I mean, yeah, they try to do their best, but I know they yeah. don't want to give it out that easy. I don't know no, yeah. why though. They no, no, because I, I understand. Like, I, you have to get your revenue somehow. You get yeah, me? yeah. Like, true. I think any with any game, you get your revenue. Yeah. Somehow, and I, and I think that's a, a technique, obviously, to get some type of revenue to make it more exclusive. So yeah. when it does release, people are more willing to uh, purchase it. You uh -huh. know, when it comes out, because it's like it's a, it's not like a, a common gun where you can just wait and grind it out. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's there for a selective amount of time, and you have to grind. You have to grind your either grind your, grind all like grind like crazy. Yeah. Or just spend a little bit of money and, so, and do half half or something like that. So like you said, but, like that, that you gotta like they gotta get the revenue somehow. So um obviously a lot of people, including ourselves, have spent some money in this game, uh to yeah. get either weapons or stuff that we wanted because um we wanted to get them right. But what do you what do you think like now that they, like, let's say you just got uh a freaking the the Odin right? You just spent so much time and money trying to get it, and you finally got it, and next thing you know they nerfed it. What do you guys think about the nerfs that just like came through? And uh, do you think it's like okay, it's so fair? A thing, of, a thing about that, I just wish before the entire update even happened with the nerfing guns and all that, mm -hmm. I wish they kind of would have explained it more about what was gonna happen. Yeah. Cause yeah. I think that's what kind of triggered a lot of people is because they were surprised. You know. Yeah. Like yeah. They, they, but, but I they think didn't know I anything. think. That was I honestly happening. think what, what they should do is instead of nerfing, because when they nerf a gun, they nerf it too much. Yeah. To the point that it's not even usable at that Because okay, <laughs> so the way I think of it is most of these ARs should have <clears> the same <throat> range. I don't know why certain ARs have less range than others. Mm -hmm. um, like, I get, I get it, they're, you know, but it's just, I, I think they should all have the same range, uh, roughly the same damage, um, but they should just mess around with the the perks with and stuff the or recoils, recoil, the recoil oh, okay. and then also the um the fire uh rate uh -huh. like you, you look at other you look at other uh first person shooters right most guns are relatively the same except most guns have a different fire rate, a different recoil and most of, most of the times the ones with the most recoil do the most damage yeah so it's, it takes skill to control the recoil and everything so I think, yeah, like stuff like that they should mess with. I don't think they should be messing with like the range of the gun. Um, I mean, in a way, yeah, but like, like for example, like you look at a jug. Jug has like barely any range. So if you're going jug against a, a bastion or something like that, you're gonna get destroyed before you before you even touch it. Hey, well, again. that only depends if you have aim on and aim off because with the bastion with aim off dude it took me like two weeks to even get situations 
situated. Bigger don't even have the Bastion, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have it, yeah. So it's rough for me, you get me? But I, I just do think um, with the nerfs and everything, um, I, I think they should make more... Like, know, they need to be more transparent with it. Before. Like, they, they yeah. need to be transparent what they, they plan to do, obviously. Yeah. And I think they kind of realize that. Because the way I see it is like, okay, look, the Odin, uh, the Odin and the, and the Incinerator, right? Instead, mm. of, instead of nerfing them, they should have figured out a way to make the other guns compete with those guns rather than just nerfing them. Yeah, definitely. Because people who, people who have the Odin, who are skilled with the Odin, it's harder to be skilled with it because you lower the damage on it. And like, yeah. It, it, they should have just kept it and boosted up the, the damage on the other guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, right? Well, so I, that's the way I look at it, honestly. What about the Icebreaker? What do you think about that? <laughs> Yo, um, so that thing, that thing needs to be nerfed, bro. That thing needs to get that thing. Hundred percent, yeah. Nah, they buffed it. Was, they buffed it way too much, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, and, and it just def it defeats it defeats from the skill, the actual skilled snipers. Oh yeah, the, definitely. The, the ones that that can actually hit those headshots. Yep. And and skillfully hit them, it it kind of, it kills it off because now you, you don't need to be skilled to <clears> bam uh, uh, and uh, an iceberg, you know. Like, definitely. Well, no, that's. Iceberg. I said icebreaker. That's, that's iceberg. Iceberg. It's, icebreaker. When I, say, when, I, when I say that they announce things without with us being surprised about yeah. certain things because if, yeah, I get they have testers that test all these guns that they feel like isn't OP or whatever, but they should actually have either the pro players or a group of the community to try out like a little beta version of all these guns, right? Yeah. Test yeah. them and see what the feedback is instead of getting all these people angry with you saying they're deleting the game because yeah. everyone's using one gun and i'm getting fucked on you know like it's just yeah no it but was I, just a bad I, what, a bad what i like about guns of boom is that I, I think the community that they have is very loyal as long as you know i mean i think right now they're in a sticky situation because obviously they did this with, without any warning without any heads up you know yeah um, but what i do like about the guns of uh the guns of boot devs uh, i think most of the most of the time they do listen you know you can communicate these things with them for the most part they do put into consideration a lot of things you know? um so you know I, I i think that's the good thing about the game because there's a lot of games out there that the devs are like lazy or they don't really care like these devs actually care and they're actually willing to put the work in but again like I, I, th I think the community is not going to go anywhere. Um, it's slowing down. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, I think once once uh, once things start to pick up, like the pro scene and everything, um, I think it'll come back to life. Hopefully, yeah, it was, uh, hopefully, man, because it, it's been yeah. very negative lately. I've seen from you know all the social medias, dude. Like it's just been super negative towards this update. People are very upset. Even when I stream Guns of Boom and stuff, like. Yeah. And people are like, "Why are you playing this crap game and stuff like that?" I'm like, "Oh, you know, it's like, damn, yeah, dude, yeah. like they're just, they're really upset, man. People are really upset out there. Uh, yeah, the yeah. But casual I'm sure, I'm sure pros. They, figure it out. they 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 understand that they were competing with a lot of big mobile games now, like PUBG and yeah, and Call of Duty and and all these other games and yeah, and Fortnite mobile. You know, these these are big. They're obviously competing with now, so I, you know, they they're not unaware of it. I'm sure that they'll figure it out and figure out a way to. To still be able to compete i don't think they're just sit down and watch the game die yeah and not care you get me i don't think they're they're, they're their mentality you know um, yeah and i don't think any anyone who who puts all this effort and time and, and and into a game i don't think they'll be willing to just let it die so i think eventually they'll figure something out we don't know i mean we'll see yeah. how it goes um but again i think this draws into a new crowd as well i think maybe they're trying to reach a different audience now mm -hmm. with this new this new um update i think it it leans more towards a different a different crowd so i think i don't know because obviously the the crowd that they had originally it doesn't benefit them but i think oh. for new people coming into the game i think it'll benefit them but yeah we'll see i don't know yeah we'll see what we'll, we'll have to wait see yeah for sure well i mean uh with that said what what do you guys think uh the future of guns boom just for the casual player like like um, I mean, I know I have noticed that there have been a lot of people that just recently downloaded the game. Mm -hmm. So I guess the best thing for them so far is that they're getting into the game when all these events are happening mm -hmm. to get the best guns possible when they reach to the higher tier levels, you know? Yeah, definitely. So that's that's one benefit for sure. But a drawback is that having a lot of the veteran players leave 
and not get your skill tested on whether or not this game's competitive or fun anymore, you know? Because if a lot of good players leave the game, then who are you going to be playing, you know? Like, you're yeah. just going to be playing random people. I know right now it's still hard for me to find a group, you know? Like, when I'm with the clan. Yeah. And we just get randoms after randoms after randoms. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. It's That's a big drawback. Yeah, because you remember back in the days, bro, it used to be really, really fun. Like, you're, you'll be playing against all the top clans, bro. There'll be so many, like, four-man oh, groups, dude. And you always yeah. be playing every, like, different clans, bro. Now you see it's just a bunch of randoms for the most part. You play a lot of people yeah. that are playing either duos or solos or but once I, in a also while. What I, noticed, mm -hmm. what I also noticed back in the days is that I feel like the community was closer in a way. Like, I remember back in the days. Yeah, yeah. I, I, got, picked up, I got picked up as, as a noob from Nox. So mm -hmm. Knox picked me up as a noob, and he actually kind of just like showed me how to play and everything. And, and I think I think that's kind of what we have to do and kind of bring in these new people and kind of show them like you know routes and stuff like that. Yeah, that's kind of true. Kind of yeah, yeah. I, I think you're right. Kind of because yeah. I think that's that that's what what everyone likes in the game, like that 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 like community aspect and just being able to to bring people in and and show. That's what I liked about Knots. Knots, Knots like was, was one of those clans that brought in a lot of like new people and kind of showed them how to play and stuff like that and just you know it, it kind yeah. of made it more like a like a family you know so yeah was, i think that's what more more clans should do i think clans kind of stick to their own like to their own people and don't really invite other new people into a group you know but i think um if more people were able to you know i don't know just share it with other people and, yeah. and show them how to play or just show them how fun it could be yeah you know i think that would be nice yeah, yeah, you're um, right, dude. I never thought about that, but it's yeah. a good insight. So. Damn, Ariel with the freaking yeah. like Gandhi insights that here, bro. Great, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, it, it's that's so true, bad. though. It, <laughs> yeah. yeah too. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I crashed on this. All right, hold on. Oh yeah, I did crash. I did crash. There you go. All right. Yeah, no, I got it. I got that. All, all that though. That was really well spoken. Very well said, Ariel. Um, what about um? So we said future guns boom casually. What about the future of guns boom and um esports? Um, I know they really haven't announced too much. We we kind of got a little glimpse of what their um plans are a little bit. Nothing concrete though, but. What do you guys think as far as esports with this whole update? You know, personally, yeah. you guys, um, I think we're all still playing the together, and then um, what's it called? I mean, just what do you guys think about the the esports side of Guns of Boom um for the future of it? You guys, what are your opinions? um? Well, I do know that there are interested teams that are really trying to be prepared more on the NA side for uh, season three. Yeah, I think uh, season two was good for the game itself, but. And especially with Game Insight taking over the tournament, but for the yeah. most part, it they need, like I said, they they need to get better at announcing <clears throat> things, you know, because people don't like to be surprised. People want to know what they're getting into, and if they're able to do that, then I think the game can still continue to grow, make profit, and then have everybody loving the game yeah. the way we used to, you know. Yeah. yeah. But but Guns of Boom is I mean to me I think it's one of the top three mobile like esports scenes. You get me? I, I think yeah, if you look 100%. at obviously Pub PUBG's up there. That's a given. PUBG yeah. is giving out millions. You get me? Yeah. But you also have to think about how competitive PUBG is, and also how much time PUBG takes and how much commitment it takes to put into PUBG. Yeah. Exactly. You know? But you look at other games. I mean, I would say I would say Critical Ops is up there. Uh, it, like, it used like, to be. Uh, it used to be. I think it used to be. be. Oh, it, yeah. it, it kind of yeah, died. Definitely used to be. Yeah. But I, I think I think mobile wise, I don't. I, don't, I mean, uh, Arena of Valor, I think is up there as well. Uh, mobile Legends, probably right. Like those games are pretty big mobile yeah. wise. I think. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. As far as the NA, I mean, there's only a couple. Um. For like mobile games and. I mean, in general, all, just all I know is that Guns of Boom was the first mobile esports game. You know, to get it big, to get all these teams traveling from different countries i know started, but they're they're slowly gradually growing you know like these yeah. other games like PUBG, people yeah. knew about it from the pc console and all that so they yeah. kind of were like oh let's get into mobile and it kind of grew more because they already had an audience outside mobile you know yeah yeah and definitely. Yeah, since guns sure, of boom sure. game insight they did this all on their own like that's applaud applause uh to them you know 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, they, I think they did a great job just uh, ex- exposing the whole esports scene for mobile. You know, yeah, was... I think uh, I think it was a big thing. And then of course, uh, PUBG just took it to the whole whole new level. Yeah, you know? definitely. I yeah. think pu- I think PUBG is doing a great thing right now. Props to them. Yeah. Um, but I, I think I think our I think uh, Guns of Boom can get up there. I, I think you just need to have a uh, they just keep doing what they're doing. I think I think they're doing a, a, a good. What, um, I think I think I think honestly for us, for, uh, I'd say the teams. Um, what what I would recommend is, is sign with these orgs, man. Like, um, I, I know I know a lot of teams want to be independently owned. Exposure to the game, so if we yeah. can get into these orgs, bring these this, that exposure into the game, then we can yeah you know, blow up the game even more, you know. And and I think that's the good thing that that PUBG did. PUBG got a lot of big big orgs to to go with them, and that's why it's blowing up so much. We got Cloud Nine over there. I mean, they even mm-hmm. got Fnatic and FaZe over there now. FaZe just signed a team for them. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, that's what we that's what we need, more exposure to the orgs. You know, we're doing a lot of independent, uh, like, teams right now that, that are not signed, obviously. Yeah, bro. Y'all need uh, to start making some content, bro. What the heck? Shoot. Well, that too. <laughs> no, I, no, I agree. I'm, now I have the money to be able to make some content. What you I mean? I'll, 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 yeah. I'll definitely yeah. jump on it when I can. Bro. Yeah, man. What happened to that video, bro? That video you were working on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But no, no. I think uh, I think the scene is going to yeah, yeah. Yeah, get bigger. Um, yeah, hopefully. now, I think, I think, I think Call of Duty is going to start soon. Yeah. Like the next few months. They'll yeah. They'll start doing like real tournaments and then get their way up there. Yeah. But in the meantime, like, um, I, you know, I uh-huh. think we'll, we'll still be up there, up there for the mobile at least. I think we'll be, we'll yeah. still be top three, you know. It'll just be, it'll be us, uh, uh, Call of Duty and PUBG. I think those are going to be the top, top three mobile games. Yeah, I think we'll... first person shooting mobile games. Because I think, I know Arena, Arena of Valor is pretty big up there, honestly. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll be all right still. But, um, uh, if so, any, what's the next question? Oh, yeah, for, if you guys could talk to, like, you know, a dev or something, like, right now, what, what would you guys suggest at this point in Guns N' Booms, um, situ- uh, in, in the, in the situation they're in right now? What would you guys, what kind of suggestions would you give them at this point? Um, I think, I think, uh, the, this is a suggestion, but I'm pretty sure they already know. Yeah. I think, though, I would just tell them just to listen to the, mm. to the community, you know? Um, and then and also, I just think the community should stop being so hostile. You know, I think, <laughs> I think, I think, I think, yeah. I, think I, I saw a little thing by Ninja. He was like, "Style to the game is just hurting it." You know. Yeah. Um, and in a way, I think, um, I think if 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 you can express what you're trying to say to the devs, um, and get it out to them, um, and hopefully you know they'll fix it. But I I do think generally they just need to listen to the public, listen to the community, and and then because that's what you're that's what you're trying to reach you know the the game is for the community for the public yeah and then you're pleasing the game you know and i, and I was just you know i did already know that but you know i guess that, that would be my only tip because that's the only thing i can kind of think of at the moment yeah what about you rob any suggestions yeah i mean i agree with you. stop stop yelling and stop trying to get what you want because the game's never gonna go back <laughs> simple dang yeah. So yeah, I mean, so How about you, man? Me, uh, I would suggest um, revert, revert, go back to Fortnite. I'm just kidding, <laughs> that's what everyone's been saying. <laughs> everyone's just like revert back to yeah. four guns and stuff. No, I get but it, but a, no, but that's the thing. They can keep what they have. Yeah, you know, they can still keep what they have, but there's ways to, I guess, make it better. You know, make it like I don't know. I, I don't know why they just can't add an extra gun so that people can have an extra gun. Yeah. You can have vests. Yeah. Or helmets, you know, stuff like that would just make it smoother. You know, I think those things, like, if they can do that, then it's, it, w- it won't be as bad as what it is now. Because I think the issue right now is that um, they're coming out with these, um, like, that vest that they came out with. The, yeah, the, there's the some, the one. bulwark, there's uh, some other. Um, yeah, they, yeah, they keep coming out with these. What's to the do helmet. With these, how, yeah, but they're not, like, just give us some. Honestly, yeah. just give us some. It, 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 like, it's not that hard to just give us a vest. Yo. Like they gave us they gave us the shelter one and the Kevlar one. Yeah. Could just give us another one. Yeah. Why can't we just put the Kevlar in every one of them? Like it has no perks. Like come on, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, exactly. But I have no armor on my class three or class four, dude. <laughs> I can't. I can't, I can't use it. 
and but, a knife uh, too. Like just let us have yeah. like, repeat our knives. Let us repeat our um, our pistols, dude. dude I only have two pistols, bro. The yeah, heck, the pistols, yeah. And the pistols keep blocking now. Yeah, it. it's slower, dude. It it's just so slow. It it doesn't shoot as yeah, fast yeah, yeah. anymore. It it just really slow. It it the bullets it, lock don't shoot. Up, it, it locks up, it locks up on you, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, that's weird. My thing shoots, but then it just locks. It doesn't. Yeah. The gun afterwards. Speaking of that, another reason why people complain so much. I wasn't one of the people because I got it through battle cases, but I remember when the eye first came out, people dropped like fifteen hundred dollars oh, yeah. on it. Yeah, they dropped so much money just to get the eye, yep. and now they can only use it for one class. Like it's just yeah, it's, that's true it's, too. Yeah, it's very it's restrictive. Really it's so restrictive this new yeah. this new um class system and whatever the heck they. It's so restrictive, and there's no like real customization that you want. It's it's what they want really. Yeah. It's what they want you to yeah, yeah. do do. And so that's what kind of sucks. But, uh, Another thing they have to realize is that you look at us and we've been playing for months and years, you get me? So yeah. imagine how long it took us to build up this arsenal, you know, yeah, just to have these slots. Imagine the people who are coming into the game trying to build up these slots. It's hard. Oh, man, definitely going to be harder, if man. Was, if, it was, if it was hard to begin with, because it was hard to begin with to even get, like, accounts started and stuff like that. Yeah. It's not even harder, you get me, just because... You gotta get all these load these guns for these loadouts and have multiple loadouts and everything. Like it's it's hard, man. Yeah. I mean, ideally you could have one. I mean, that's what we had originally, but you know. It's, yeah. We'll see. Hopefully they know. change something about that. Uh, my my biggest suggestion to them, um, if if anyone's watching from game and anything would be just to add some type of rank playlist with pro mode settings that we can freaking grind out and that people can actually get exposed to in the game that what way you can attract more people to the esports scene even if they're just like uh casuals you know just le letting people kind of get a taste of it you know like oh this is pretty cool you know like you're it's a different rule set more you know it's more challenging some people like the challenge some people don't like the challenge it's just you know just give the people the opportunity to try it out in the public uh, playlist matter, not just a private match, because it's hard to it's hard to get a lobby full of um, people for private matches and pro mode. So that's my yeah. biggest suggestion: would be some kind of ranking system, some kind of uh, leaderboards for that type of like you know pro mode setting type of. Um, that's my biggest suggestion for that for that. Yeah, the no, I agree because I mean you look at the ranking systems for like PUBG and like Call of Duty. They have a nice system. even Mobile Legends. I think they have. A yeah. Um, uh, if you had something similar to that, that would be cool too. It just encourage people to play. You get me? Because everyone oh, yeah. wants to see see their name. Well, well not and only if they play, get like a cool insignia, just or to be yeah. like exposed that. as well. That's Damn, right. yeah, that, that made that made a vast. You never know, bro. What if the next the What if the next Venom's out there, but he doesn't know it? You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, hundred percent. No, yeah, for sure. Because like, it, if you uh, are not with aim off because yeah it's just easier with aim on yeah know? definitely yeah definitely uh, and they get accustomed to it you know if, if you make it more comfortable for them to play with the aim off then it will just build a healthy habit of people playing with aim off yeah you just get more pros more people who want to play and it will just build up the pro scene honestly yeah yeah definitely um, i think it would help out i think that i think that'll be a great thing for them for all of us honestly yeah so I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, hopefully, Guns Boom changes something around that that brings back some people or just evolves it into something better. That I mean, you know, sometimes you gotta get through that rough stuff to yeah. get get to a better place. Hope I think it's this is like their their rough patch right now, and hopefully, we get to a better place at the end of it. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, the good thing about Gun Guns Boom, it seems like they're just getting started, man. I feel like uh, yeah. like there's still a lot it, more like, to come. When we first started playing the game, the guys were hunchbacked over, like yeah. the graphics were oh, yeah. good. We were on what thirty frames yeah. per second. Yeah. 60, like, and then yeah. it, yeah. So it just grows on people, you know. Like, you, you got to yeah. give it a chance. And after a few, if you don't like it, then don't play it. But I know there's gonna be attraction towards other people that want to play, it, you know. So mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. It's, it's all fair game. So it's all fair. It's different. It's fun. It's fun, man. Like, you just gotta get used to it. But well, yeah. Hopefully they they do figure something. Yeah, um, we're looking. We're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to what they add, and we're looking forward to the pro scene. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, the, the things they implement into the, the new pro scene. So. 
Yeah, yeah well, I mean, shout outs to Guns of Boom, Game Insight. Uh, you know, we're, I know our, our team's pretty grateful for the opportunities that we got, especially, you know, um, 100%. You know, it's, 100%. but we still, we still, like, we're still, we still notice that, you know, there's some things that they've done that weren't cool. Um, some things that they could have done better, maybe. Um, but yeah, but we do appreciate every, everything. I mean, obviously, yeah. they, they've given us, given us the opportunity to, to, win money uh, playing a game uh, that we enjoy playing together. So it's, yeah. it's not an opportunity that everyone gets. And, and just, it's just for anyone. Any, like any game that you play, like, it's, it's, it's a blessing to just be able to compete in it <laughs> and, and have that opportunity to just, you know, visit the world and also play for money. You know? yep. and, and, the, and then I also think the good thing about Guns of Boom and the way they've handled their land, uh, their land events um they made it very comfortable for us yeah definitely I mean, everything would always go so smooth and, and yep. it was amazing so we're, we're always grateful for that so. yeah for sure yeah well i mean um you guys have any closing thoughts you guys would want to leave off with um I already said thanks, you know, to, I mean, shout outs to everybody else. I, I, I forgot to, <laughs> I should have done this at first. Shout outs to, you know, all the fans that have been supporting since, you know, since we started this team, it's, um, this whole past year was quite the adventure. Um, we've been through so much with the pro series and it's just like, you know, seeing the, the support from all the people, you know, from all around the world, dude, it's crazy. You know, when you start thinking about it, it's yeah, like so much support yeah. from all around the world. So, I mean, shout outs to those, um, yeah, those people out a there. Yeah, it's man. I appreciate all the, all the people who root for us, you know. It's, uh, Definitely. You know, even, at, even at our lowest points, you got me. Oh, yeah. They, you know, they've always been with us. So, you know, it's definitely motivation and, and we, we, you know, we, we appreciate stuff like that, you know. It's, for sure, for sure. So, yeah. It keeps so, us going. It keeps us grinding, you know. It keeps us working hard. With me though, so I got I got a little something I'm gonna be doing. Um, Jen, I don't know if you want to do the same, but I'm thinking of uh, doing a little not a, what? How do you say a giveaway? Not a donation, giveaway. A giveaway. Yeah. So what I'm gonna be doing, buddy, that's listening here, uh -huh. I'm gonna be sending. It doesn't matter where you live. You can be out of the country, the USA, the in the Indian region, the Brazil region. I'm gonna be sending you guys a pair of one of the Ray-Ban glasses that I've worn uh, in one of the tournaments with a Dang. couple other uh, Gods of Boom goodies, like Dang. a bag and maybe a scarf or something. And then I'm going to do another giveaway that's going to be a signed Venom, like t-shirt, jersey type thing. And then other Gods of Boom little goodies that we've re uh, acquired throughout all these tournaments and stuff. So go uh, look at my Instagram. I'll be making a post. <laughs> Venom GOB, and then yeah we'll go from there oh dang dude that sounds good yeah I'll, I'll make sure to leave the link down in the description below for all the youth that want interested into into that giveaway it sounds pretty cool i might try to get into it so i can um you know get that the goodie bags i'm just kidding <laughs> i already have a bunch of <laughs> now nah, but yeah that's that's dope man that's that's cool so uh, yeah you guys heard that from king venom himself he's doing a giveaway so make sure to hit that link in the description below so you guys can participate into that giveaway when it does come out well, yeah so i mean well i think that's that's good for now i mean it's i mean we I th we think we talked about pretty much um everything we can about guns of boom was a lot of that's lots of guns of boom talk Gods of Boom. I keep yeah. saying Guns of Boom, bro. Me too. It's I it's called, I, bro. dude. At first I said Guns of Boom goodie bag, and I was like, no, Gods. Of it's Gods of Boom, dude. Yeah. We gotta get used to the name change, uh, but yeah. I think to us it's always gonna be Guns of Boom. You know, at the end of the day, it's yeah, but yeah, it's always sure, Guns yeah. of Boom to That's us rough. for sure. That is. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, shout outs to Guns of Boom. Shout outs to all the peeps out there. Um, everybody watching, and uh, you know, well, this is just you know Team Red X. Um, it was me myself. We got Ariel and King Venom in here. So thank you guys so much. Shout out to Corrupt too. Uh, shout out to Corrupt. He's working right now, probably. But he's working right now, man. But shout out to him. That's our guy. That's our guy. That's our guy. That's our man. That's the Gramps. Right there. That's the Gramps. That's the Gramps. <laughs> Anyways, Who thank you. Maybe you'll be the next coach, baby. Let's hey, go. you never know. <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you guys so much for talking with us or talking with me and yeah well yeah thank you guys yeah I'm all right